Uh, next up in the matchup series is Claudio. Now, Claudio is pretty hard to step, so, but generally, you want to go left, but he still has a lot of stuff that tracks that way. So, for example, um, so size up four into back three, you can't step this because of the buff. You can no longer size up left back three anymore. So, but you can step it from less frames. You can, sorry, so jab, jab into it. You can go left again. So. Uh, stuff like um, then back three, which tracks those left. You can go right against it, or you can uh, side step left into duck against it. But in my opinion, I wouldn't focus on stepping Claudio that much unless you're at range because he has so much that tracks both ways. For example, like his jab, one two. It's really difficult to step if you're not ready because the second hit tracks a bit. So. Like, there is no easy way to step Claudio, pretty much. So, the channel idea is, is just try to avoid being at the wall against Claudio. Because if he gets you at the wall, and he hits you with size step 4, he has so much going for him. But there is one thing that you should know. Um, size step 4 into down foot 1. If you're on player 1 side, you can size step left uh, down foot 3. That's really important to know against the wall. If you're on player 2 side, you can't stop it, because it tracks the other direction. But if you're on player one side, you can stop it. So at least try and make him go for the hit confirm when he's at the wall and then whip punish him first. But you have to be careful because he also has um back one, which will which will um stop you from going left. So you have to do like a little quick side step blo block. So this will make the down for three whiff and it'll block um back one at the wall. Now obviously he can do um four three to stop you. It's to be safe, he'll still block in time, but he's safe anyway. Or you can do one, two, two track there, or you can do um, I believe hop kick tracks that way as well. It is a commitment, but he has this as well. Uh, he has he has a lot of moves that goes this way, so I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't recommend stepping Claudio too much. He has uh, too much going for him. So I'll just go over his um, but generally I will go left, and for his running mix up, go left always at range. Just if you go right, um, you got clipped. You get clipped if you go right. So you want to go left. It's way easier. And it's the same for 444. I know this isn't a good way to test it, but going left is uh, better against Claudio for his running stuff as well. So we'll go over some quick stuff. So it's 2 1 is minus 11. A lot of Claudios will try and. Or it should be minus 11. Or did it get buffed? Wait, is it safe now? Okay, I, I have wrong notes here, I'm sorry. The season one stuff here. No, 2 1 is actually safe. Ignore me there. But uh, 2 1 2 should be minus 13. Yeah, so you just have to uh, punish that when you can. Make make him do it. Like, challenge him a bit on block. If you're just doing 2 1 into 2 1, for example, just challenge him on block a bit and then make him do the follow up so you can punish him. So uh, this move is really weird because it doesn't look like you can punish it, but you can actually dick jab it. Because if you try to normal jab it, it'll whiff because he doesn't crouch it, so you gotta dick jab it. For three, you can duck the second hit and launch it while well, sentry, or you can crush under it with them back one, which is really good in my opinion because if he's doing like 4 1, like 4 1 on block into back three, for example, you can counter hit him doing follow ups and. If he does the 4 3 follow up, you'll, you'll crush under it. So, Denmark 1 2 is a pretty nice answer to that. Like, here, confirm it, of course. Uh, board, board 1 plus 2. Now, the whole string is minus 14. But the thing is, it actually uh, jails on block. So, you can mash, you can 4 2 it on its own. And if he finishes it. Now, this isn't very useful. Not many Claudios use this, but it's still good to know. And if you. Um, you can mash forward two in between because it chills and block and then just do up for two afterwards when he finishes it. So this is good to know. This is minus ten on block. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Minus ten on block, so and then he has a follow-up, which at minus eighteen, so just four two does. The four two two is weird. Because um our punish is actually dash four two. It's kinda tight and risky. But it is a punish. 
This should be punished. It, it should say punish. Okay, well it works anyway, but like you see it's really difficult to do, so I would just do 443. Because 443 is easier to do. And it's not and it's not launch punch when Black V mess up. But dash forward two is possible, it's just really difficult. Uh forward four plus frames, but if you just four four on block into back three, you can still step back three. So it's not plus enough to uh, make back three track that way, so you can still step back three on player one side. So don't let him get away with that for free. That's a that's a very Claudio flow chart. Do um four three into back three. So make sure you step that when he's doing it. And it's the same with um four four into dem four one. Like four four into dem four three one. You can step this. It's hard to it's hard to whip on a second hit. But uh, you, you, you have to be on points. Like, that's a Claudio match, I'm not sure. You have to be on points for a lot of things. So, uh, down for 3 1. Is that. Sorry. Down for 3 1 is. um Is a hit confirm. This will be his main thing at the wall. Claudio will be looking for hit confirm with this move with them for 3 1. So you have to uh, make him do it. So, uh, down for 3 1 by itself is minus 12. If he delays it, which most Claudius will do. Or when they're trying to hit confirm it, you can actually 2 plus 3 ish. He can't step it, I believe. I don't think he can step the second hit on delayed. Or he can interrupt as well. Yeah, he can interrupt as well. So all you can do is that 2 plus 3 if you read it. And uh, down for 3 2, which is, um, is a mid high version of the move, it's safe. A lot of Claudius will try and mix up this with the mid sometimes. So what you can do is, um, if he delays the high as well, you can actually do a uh, two plus. You can do uh, two plus three on it. I think it's delay enough. Right. Yeah, you can do two plus three on the delay version as well of this of both options. Uh, some Claudius like to do um then back two one, which is um. It's unsafe, but you have to do a mid punish on it. So it's minus 13 creation, I believe. You have to do down for 20 punish or down for 4 more damage. So be careful because some Claudius do um this into a half kick if you try to chop it, like a little cheeky gimmick. So just watch out for that. Uh back three three is new and this catches everyone in season three because it's it's a new extension in season three. So it's a minus is um minus twelve and it has an extension which you can delay. For a counter launcher, you can step it. You can step the. You can step it on delay. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Dan back three. It looks like Anna's Dan back three. Uh, unfortunately for Oscar, it's minus fifteen. But unfortunately for Oscar, she can only do once. Any one four on it. And this is one Claudio's main to go to low pokes is a Dan back four three. It's like laws Dan four three. So what you want to do is um. You want to duck and launch it, you know. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it quite a bit in game. So make sure you um duck and launch it. Back four two. Minus twelve. It's now unsafe. As of season two, I believe. You can now, um two three it. You can step the the. You can step the delay version, but in my opinion, it's too risky. This is actually very difficult to step it. So I, I would just block it. I would just block it. Back 4 3 is a high version. Which you can duck, of course. Now, if he's like mixing up the two, um, you can actually. Uh, I mean, just read my notes here. If he delays both options, you can actually uh, do size up into duck. Like I, get, like I said, step in the mid follow up is very difficult to do, so I won't bother. But it is possible. Apparently, you can size up to it. Um, yeah, I, I won't bother trying to step it. See, as you can see, it's consistent. 
So I, I would just block both options, to be honest. Because it gives the Starburst and hit, and you don't want to give him Starburst. Now, a lot of Claudius like to whiff. No, sorry, wrong character. A lot of, a lot of Claudius like to whiff um, back 4 2 into Rage Drive, such as this. Sorry. Now, if he whiffs it, you can actually uh, 2 plus 3 ish. Because if you try to whip punish it, he's going to catch you, for example. Yeah, if you try to whip punish it, he's just going to hit you. So I would just uh, 2 plus 3 ish on reaction. Because uh, you can't chicken it. The follow up's a bit inconsistent, so I would just do um, dash 4 2 or so. For... But sometimes you get them by 4 3. I don't know, I don't know why or when, can you? But 2 plus 3 is a nice option. Or if you have um, Rage or Armor, you can Armor through it as well. You can Rage or Armor through it as well. Because a lot of clothes, as soon as they have Rage, they just whiff the string and then go into Rage Drive on block. This is hard to whip punish without um, fast stuff. Uh, let's see, is Power Crush. Man's 13, so make sure you punish this. So, 2-3 uh, punish up. So it's not 4, it's minus 14, it's minus 13, so you got 2-3. Um, what else is uh, This is plus on block, this is plus 1 on block, so careful. It leaves you in crate as well. Uh, some Claudius throw this out by accident. It's minus 11, so you can punish with match or 4. 4-4-2, uh, 4 4, two, four, four, four two, 2 is a high, you got a duck. And 4-4-2, four, four, 1 plus 2 is a minus 13 mid. While running two, it's plus seven on block, so I would just not press anything because at plus seven, Claudio can hit you at back three. He can hit you with um. That's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> he can hit you um. Uh, I believe them for three that you can't step as well. I think, but back three you certainly can't step. While signing one one, now a lot of people don't duck this. It's actually unsafe as well. Not a lot of people punish it. I think it's just minus 12. Yeah, it's just minus 12. So 2 3 ish. Or you can duck it. But you're better off ducking it. A lot of people don't duck this for some reason. But it's very important to duck. Because some claw, you just throw a life and crouch. This is really important to know. Um, so Starbus, then 1 2. You can actually um, size that right the second hit. Please do this. Because so many Claudios get away with this. So this is really important to stop as well. And uh, of course the Claudio classic gimmick of um, this into the unblockable. So what you can do is you can size up right? You can size up either direction actually. And then just launch them. And that's it for Claudio. I mean it's not an easy matchup because his tracking is really good. And he has a lot of moves where it has like big plus frames, like size F4 while running two, his jabs. So he's actually pretty hard to step. So this is a matchup where you have to really pick your moments and just punish him hard for throwing out unsafe stuff. And then just avoid the wall because he is so strong at the wall. So just try and avoid it. Because he gets so much damage off any mid splats at the wall with a back dash, back two, and then a star string. So, I hope this video helped, and thanks for watching.